Hi everybody. I've been wanting to do a YouTube video for some time now on something that's of real concern to me that I know is affecting a lot of people out there. Um, I'm sorry this is scripted. This is just the best way that I knew how to do it. I want to talk to you about something that is very dangerous that a lot of people are still not aware of that can affect your health in a very serious way and even lead to death. I'm not trying to sell you something and no one asked me to do this video. I'm just trying to help bring more public awareness to this problem. So please watch this. What I want to talk to you about is radon, the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers and how to avoid it. A number of years ago, someone I knew told me that their mother had lung cancer but that she had not been exposed to asbestos and did not smoke. So to make a long story short, they discovered she had something called radon gas in her house and this was believed to be the cause of her lung cancer. Well, I had never heard of radon gas. So I did some research and this is what I found. I'll try to keep this as short as possible but I can assure you that every minute of this video is worth watching. I'll answer what I believe are 10 of the most important questions which I think you'll find very interesting. Please send this video to everyone you know. Question number one, what is radon? Radon is a radioactive gas element that is colorless, odorless, and tasteless that occurs naturally from the decay of uranium or thorium. Radon is a very heavy, dense gas at room temperature. Question number two, where does radon come from? Radon comes out of the ground all over the world in different concentrations. Question number three, how dangerous is radon? Radon will stick to dust particles in the air. If you inhale these particles, they can stick to the airway of your lungs. Radon exposure has been linked to lung cancer in numerous case control studies performed in the United States, Europe, and China. There are approximately 21,000 deaths per year alone in the United States due to radon-induced lung cancers. One of the most comprehensive radon studies performed in the United States found a 50% increased lung cancer risk even at the level of four parts per million of radon. North American and European pooled analysts further support these findings. Question number four, where does radon rank among lung cancer? Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. However, radon is the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. Question number five, how does radon get into your house? Radon will enter a home through the lowest level in the home that is in contact with open ground. Typical entry points of radon into homes are cracks in solid foundations, walls, and construction joints. The greatest risk of radon exposure arises in homes that are airtight and insufficiently ventilated. Question number six. If my neighbor has radon in their house, does that mean it's in my house? If a house next door to you has radon in it, it does not automatically mean that your house has radon in it. And likewise, if a house next door to you does not have radon in it, it does not automatically mean that your house does not have radon in it. Question number seven. If a house does have radon in it, does it come and go over a period of days, weeks, or years? The answer is no. If a house has radon, the radon will more than likely always be there and the concentration levels will stay the same. However, the concentration in one room of a house or building may be significantly different than the concentration in an adjoining room 
and can accumulate to far higher than normal concentrations, especially in low areas such as basements and crawl spaces due to its heavy gas nature. Question number eight, how can I find out if my house has radon in it? It's very simple to perform a radon test in your house. You can either buy a radon gas detector online to obtain your own readings, or you can buy a radon detector kit from your state health department, which you will mail back to them after performing a test. They will contact you with the test results. If test results show four parts per million or higher, the EPA recommends addressing the problem. Question number nine, how do I perform the most accurate test? The most accurate long-term test should be performed over a period of 90 days. Again, when test results show four parts per million or higher, the EPA recommends addressing the problem. Question number 10, how much does it cost to install a radon removal system? The cost to install a radon removal system will vary considerably and will be determined by whether you install the system yourself or pay someone to install it for you. If you have a basement with a sump pump crock, the installation will be fairly simple and your cost will be much less. So if you're interested, go to my other YouTube video entitled Radon, the number one cause of lung cancer among non-smokers and how to avoid it, part two, and I'll show you how I installed my own radon removal system. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye for now.